opening, so I do have a really special box opening today. Um, I will say that I, I did already see what was inside here already. Um, I really wanted to check to make sure everything was okay before I left to go to the chiropractor this afternoon. Um, and so I, I did check her out, but I wanted to do like an official box opening for her. Um, this is a, a kit that I was very excited to get. I was worried at first that I had missed it because I had kind of been away from the, the doll scene for about a month or so during um, the issues with the house and staying at the hotel and, you know, things were just kind of chaotic. But um, thankfully, I did manage to get a part in this edition and um, I'm so excited, so, so excited that she's here. So I do have um, some paperwork here, um, a hint on who this is. Um, this is Silicon Art Dolls by Sylvia Manning. Now Sylvia is the sculptor of my Asher, and she was also my first silicone painting teacher, and she did an amazing job. Um, I now love painting silicone thanks to her, so I, I feel like I owe her a lot. <laughs> So she did send this really cute little giraffe lovey. Sorry if the lighting's kind of harsh. I'm using a circle light here. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's not good. Maybe that one? That one's probably a little bit better. I feel like it's not as glaring. So here's her box. And it had like the little lovey sitting here. And then her paperwork here thing on top. But as you can see... Here is the certificate. This is Jolie. I have number 28. She was definitely a popular, and I was, or another reason I was so worried about not being able to get her is because so many people were after her. And um, as you can see, I was number 28. And um, she was, uh, had to be paid for in full. So a lot of people really wanted her. And um, 28 people were able to pay her in full. And I was so glad that I was able to as well. I happened to save up enough um, in my PayPal credit to get her. So we've got our blank silicone uh, baby care, baby kit care sheet and her certificate of authenticity. I'm going to put, actually I'm going to put this back in here. I really want it to stay nice and protected. So the question, am I keeping this baby? I don't know yet. I'll be honest. I, I mean, for every, for every kit I buy... I buy with the intention to keep because that's just how I do. I mean, honestly, um, every baby that I paint, I paint technically for myself. And then for various reasons, um, I choose whether to sell or not once I'm done with painting and all that. Um, at this point, I have planned on keeping her because I have Asher and I have Katya back. Um, Katya, who is Winter, also by Sylvia Manning. And I would love to be able to keep her as well. Just a part of my little Sylvia Manning sleeper collection. Um, this is important information. Please support my head at all times. To prevent any silicone tears, do not overstretch my mouth to prevent tears. And I need lots of cuddles. That's really cute. So let's get her out and see her. Just hanging out in there. And there's just peanuts in there. I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to be able to see her little face right away. Let me zoom in so we don't see that unattractive background. Uh, today at work, we celebrated three, three co-workers' uh, birthdays today, three staff members, me included. So I did get, <laughs> did get some uh, goodies that I have yet to um, put away, so they're just kind of hanging out in the background. It don't look very nice. Look at this sweet girl, and she's chubby, and she's so sweet. She's very soft. She does have a little tongue and some gums in there. But her mouth isn't super open. I think she just kind of takes a newborn, or maybe even a preemie patch. I mean, I think she can take a bigger patch because I don't want to stretch her mouth. And I just found that I'm no longer a passy person for my dolls. I used to be, and I have collected a lot of pacifiers over the years. But, um, I just, I don't use them on my dolls anymore. So, all right, since she is naked, I won't show the private areas. So, I'll just put a diaper on her real quick. Here's her arms. 
She's got two closed fists, which is so adorable. I think that's very typical of a sleeping newborn. And before I um, show her legs, I'm going to go ahead and put a diaper on her, just a little cloth diaper. So I'm going to pause and I will be right back. Okay, here is this precious girl. Let me take her out of her little um, swaddler there. That's really cute. I'm going to take her hat off as well. This is a cute hat. It's got little elephants. Oh, is that what that's on it? Elephants? Like different color elephants? It looks like a hippo. And rainbows and giraffes. It's really cute. But here is this chubba bubba. She is a big girl. She's so sweet. She's about Rosanna's size, I would say. She looks like almost the exact length. Um, she is a bit chunkier than Rosanna. At least this way. I think Rosanna had like a wider tummy. But she's got like a chubbier tummy. Um, her silicone feels... Um, it kind of feels Eco 20 to me. Maybe a touch softer. But it feels really nice. Now her legs are very soft. They curl up like this, which is really cute. Like when her diaper was off, her legs were just kind of up against her, which is really cute. She does have armatures in her arms. So I'm just going to straighten those out. She's got long arms. I love it. And then she does have an attached head, but it's so soft that it does turn really nicely. And you have to support it. Oh, she's so cute. She is so cute. And it looks like, oh, no, let me move her back over so she's a little bit, she's in the frame a little bit better. There we go. I think, it almost looks like she's inside her thumb. Uh, let's see. There we go. So she can be a thumb sucker. Very cute. So cute. Let me show. Let me get Ashford over here. Let's see. I'm just curious about the length. Okay, so she looks like she's almost. Her and Asher are almost the same. She's definitely ch over, overall bigger and chubbier. It looks like they're close in length. Don't make them cute little twins. Yeah, she's definitely bigger. Like his little face like, compared to her. <laughs> in comparison to her. Yeah, he's definitely smaller. Oh my goodness. And um, Winter, aka Katya, is not with us. She's getting hair, so I can't really compare her. But she's probably right up there with Katya's size. Katya wears zero to three months. I imagine she does as well. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out Miss... Jolie here. She's her back. I'm very, very excited to be painting her soon. Um, but for the, but for now, um, since I won't be painting her um, in the near future, because I have to finish over my studio first, um, I might go ahead and powder her and put her in a cute little Christmas outfit and just uh, lay her over here with everybody else. But um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, should I show her movement real quick, maybe? I know that she's, see her legs are very floppy. And then, I mean, she's definitely cuddly. And you see her skin? Her skin right there wrinkles up. So cute. And, of course, her armatures. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another video very soon. Bye-bye.